Alright everyone, it's Nick of Street Pass Prince and here to play another episode of Bravely Default. So here we are in this wonderful game. So we're gonna get underway back to the ship since the seas are now clear. Which works great for us. Hopefully everything goes well. Shall I cast off then? Please. Fantastic. Okay, so... Where should I go then? Oh, I have to go to the Fire Vestal area, don't I? I hear I get the Ninja next, too, which is great. Dark mood for a nice day's sailing. Agnes, forgive me. For what? What happened to Olivia? I am partly to blame. You may have fought for the duchy, but you've nothing to do with the one who killed Olivia. But I do. That monster? The one they call the witch, Victoria? I knew of her. <laughs> Just, who are you, Adia? Before, when that man attacked, Alternus, you knew him better than a simple soldier of the Sky Knight saw it. I hadn't intended to hide who I am. But I should have told you sooner. My father is Grand Marshal of the Eternian Forces. Leader of the Council of Six. Well, that's not really much of a surprise. We kind of knew you were in there already. What? If the Council is in charge, and he leads the Council... <gasps> Your father's the head of the whole duchy! Well, um, that's what she just said! Then the order to assassinate the Vestal of Water came from your father? I don't know. I don't know. I can't blame you if you blame me. You don't. You. You intend to stand there and feign heartache and innocence both? Perhaps it was you who communicated Olivia's hiding place to the duchy? I don't think that was what happened. That's not. I was. Perhaps you were a spy this whole time. Deceiving us even now. Anya, stop. We fought this far together. That means something. Don't doubt it. I agree with Tiz here. <gasps> Excuse me. I need rest. I ask that you leave me alone a while. <sighs> We're crossing into open water. Okay. Okay, I would like actually to go back to Caldisla for a moment. God. My nose is still plugged up. It's terrible. Okay, so let's go back here. Because I'm actually curious to see Narende Village, because if you haven't remembered, it is still a giant chasm. You know what, I'll come back here when I'm done with Narende, because Narende should be done completely. Okay, so let me get underway. Alright, let's get on this ship. And we'll get back to the main part of the game. Let's go to this little quest area right now. Here we go! Ah, over here, everyone! Feast your eyes upon this! Huh? What's the matter? Oh, huh? oh my! Is it a boss? Chapter 3, Beloved Bonds. So now we're on Chapter 3. What on earth is that? A ship, perhaps? But it's too big. But it's too big. And it's not moving. I'll wager the women there frolic around in bathing suits all day long. In your dreams, ring a bell. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's lodge there tonight. Unacceptable. We've no time for distractions. We must awaken the fire crystals. I am the one at the helm here. No? I'll make the call. Thank you very much. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know, I kind of trust Ring a Bell. Even though I know there's something shady about him. A glamorous life. This is enormous. How many echelots do you think been in there? Is it a ship, an island, have we chanced upon the forbidden sanctuary of the Bikini Tribe? 
Here's hoping they're cannibals with a taste of philanderers. From the looks of it, it has to be a ship, some luxury Kleiner, I guess? A luxury? Uh, what are you talking about, Dia? A super thing, every cabin of kings of two. Five star feast they have on board of it. Well, such a thing exists? And here I thought a big crabbing ship. You're getting bumpkin all over my feral bikini women desires. Okay, so let's go on this thing. Grand ship, the sinking state. Wow! This ship has a whole town on board! Or should I say this town looks like a ship? I'm confused. I'll I say. can feel us rocking. It's floating all right. <gasps> Where are all the scantily clad girls? Oh, what a letdown. I'm sorry, ring a bell. Well, well, here's some faces I haven't seen before. New to the ship? Then the seas must have cleared up everywhere and not just here. Excellent news. Say, have any of you seen a lad by the name of Zatz? No. He's hurt and supposed to be staying off his feet, but he wandered off. If you see him, can you bring him back to the tavern? Sure, we'll bring him back. He's a scrawny, fidgety little fellow, so you can't miss him. Thanks in advance. Okay, let's try to find a small, midgety, scrawny fellow for you. Looks like it's up here. At this rate, the shield bears will lose the war. We need your help. Anything will do. Resources, manpower, please aid us. I've traveled far to make this plea. Uh. Okay. So you make this plea. Oh, wait, we get more items here. Well... Not really any points to buying anything right now, because I should really just try to focus on getting more money. What are we gonna do? You wouldn't happen to be Zatz. Yeah! Who's asking? The tavern proprietress wanted us to find you. Let's... Uh, all right, then. I'm coming. Uh, what a mess. I'll say. So let's help out Zatz with his little dilemma. Let's see what goes on here. Huh. What were you thinking roaming around in that state? Like I said, it's not that bad. Just a little bruise on the ribs, that's all. Really? Got bruises? That's not good. What were you asking the council for back there? Aid. We need their support. I'm from the city of Eisenberg, far to the west of Eisenberg. That's where That's the fire, where the fire, crystal, fire is. crystal is. That's right. There was an uprising, and now we're in the middle of a civil war. The shield bears are losing ground, and unless we can do something, we'll be defeated. So, these the shield, shield bearers, bearers are the faction, the faction you're, aligned you're aligned with? That's right. The shield bears have served as the protectors of Eisenberg for centuries, but a few years ago, a group called the Sword Bearers rebelled. We've been at war ever since. They are but few in number, truth be told. What? Why are the shield bearers losing to a smaller force? The sword bearers we can handle, but they have powerful foreign mercenaries on their side. Foreign merc they wouldn't happen to call themselves the Black Blades, would they? Yeah, that's them. Wait. Are you with those mercenaries as well? No, don't worry. We mean you no harm. Idea, are these Black Blade mercenaries linked to the Eternian forces? I'm gonna say yes. Yes. The Black Blades is the moniker of the first division of the Eternian forces. My master's unit. Uh, Zach, can you tell us what happened to the Fire Vestal? We heard she had perished. Yeah. The sword bears got hold of her around three years ago. She was killed? Yep. Assassinated. When the bloody conflict reached an impasse, the sword bears raided the temple of... Sacrilege! What of the Vestaling? 
the Fire Vestal's successor. There was one, but she met the same fate. How? It falls to me, then. We must hurry to the temple. You're going to the Temple of Fire? You won't get anywhere near it now. A few weeks ago, Mount Karka erupted, and the whole temple is a sea of lava now. Nevertheless, we must find a way. Let us hurry to Eisenbeth. I don't suppose you could take me with you. My friends are waiting for my return. Sure. Have you given up on finding support? The war will be over before too long. I can't afford to wait any longer. Sounds good. Are you okay with us taking him? Very well. Okay. Thanks. I owe you one. Okay. So we're going to do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ship off right now. Eisenberg is far to the west of here. You'll see a little harbor when we hit land. We can go ashore there. The lads should be waiting for me in the area. Don't even think about landing on the north coast. The sword bearers hold sway up there, so it's dicey. Okay, so sword bearers bad, shield bearers good. Good to know. So, thank you, Zats, for helping us out. Alright, so it seems like we're good. Great! We made it! Leave the... What's the plan? The dock at the cottage we're heading to is too small to moor this ship. My mates will ferry us over in a smaller boat. God. So we have to ferry ourselves in a smaller boat, okay? House by the Sea. Looks like a monk to me. Zats, you had us worried. Good to see you still in one piece. Likewise, Dats. Looks like we're all here. Zats and Dats. Don't worry about the ship. This harbor is nice and sheltered, so it'll be fine. The peninsula hides it from any prying eyes on the open sea. Okay, so that sounds good, right? How are you healing up, Dat? I'm fine. Just a little sore back now. This body's tough as nails, as you can see. I'm lucky to still be breathing after facing the blade of that Swordmaster, though. <laughs> Swordmaster? What is it? Oh, nothing. Thanks for bringing Zats back to us. We appreciate it. Not at all. We, we didn't never made it ashore sure without, without Zats, Zats to navigate. navigate. Hey, after seeing you in action, I have a favor to ask. Would you meet with our leader? Sure. What's this about, Zat? Listen, Dats. These guys are top-notch fighters. They were knocking the blocks off monsters like it was nothing. Oh, we never fought against you. I couldn't you. get Grandship on our side. But with these guys to back us up, please, you've got to help the shield bearers. I'll never ask another thing of you. You want us to help you win the war? The sword bearers betrayed us, and they have the fire vestal's blood on their hands. Don't think they'll stop when they conquer Eisenberg. They plan to plunder other regions next. We can't let them run rampant. They must be stopped, and for that we need you. Unacceptable. Aren't we cannot afford to get caught up in a conflict now. We must awaken the crystal at the Temple of F That is my task as a vessel of the crystals. We have no time to wage war. You're a vestal? You? Yep. Agnes is the wind vestal. She's trying to save the world, so don't get in her way. Ah, what's that scrawny little thing? <laughs> a crist fairy, they say. Gave me a start the first time I saw it as well. You don't say. I never imagined a Vestal would be so young. Or that you keep company with such an odd creature. Hey, watch who you're calling odd. <laughs> I might forgive you if you'd tell us how to get to the Temple of Fire. The Temple of Fire? Well, the All roads the roads there, were, there blocked were blocked by lava. Our commander might know something. The shield bearers have been trying to find a way through for a while. Well, whether we join forces with the shield bearers or not, Let's at least talk with their commander. I agree, Don. Yes, I agree. So let's talk with the commander. Let's get going then. The shield bearers are based. We'll need to go south a bit. Keep your eyes peeled as well. I will definitely do that. Thank you.
Okay, so party chat time. Shoreline baths. Hey, Dads, what's that smoke rising over the coast? Well, that's steam from a natural hot spring. A vein of magma empties in the sea, the heating... A real hot spring. Water it's cuts and scrapes, even burns. Mixed bath, even big hot tub. Huh? Ring a bell, where are you? Uh, a pair of legs on that guy. It's alright, let him go scream in the cave. Okay, no worry. Yeah, that's right, the mix ought to be mostly Voltorus in the bath. Ha ha ha. Spring back, say shiny thing. Uh, okay. That's funny. Okay, uh... I'm not taking any battles now, because I just want to save and quit. But I need to get to town first. Looks like I need to get past this divide. Is Hold it? it. Uh, I sense danger. Okay. Nice footwork. You must have been training since we last met, my unworthy disciple. Master. Uh. I knew it. So you are the sword master, master leading, leading the, the mercenaries, mercenaries then. then? The head, the of, the head of the black blades. My, my old master. master. I wish it weren't so. I wanted to believe you were not capable of such a thing. Tell me, master. What business have you aiding the sword bearers in their rebellion? Was it your intention to plunge this peaceful country into war? I ask you back. Do you, Do you understand, understand the gravity, the gravity of, what you have done? of what you have done? I hear you have taken up with a Vestal. And now you have released two crystals to run out of control. Foolish. You always did have a habit of running with your emotions, not seeing the big picture. You've not changed a bit. What big picture? You cannot be so deluded as to think starting wars can be justified. You are still a child if you are only able to see war as right or wrong. You are yet naive. I cannot allow a foundling such as yourself to meddle in the fate of the crystal. Though you are my disciple and the beloved daughter of a dear friend, I will cut you down with my own blade if you continue this folly. And expose the world to danger. <laughs> Commander! Commander Kameizumi! The sword bearer forces have started withdrawing! What? Can they not understand such basic tactics? We have the Vestal within our grasp. But we cannot let our allies be run down like dogs. Call off the attack on the shield bearer headquarters. We must withdraw swiftly and go to the aid of the sword bearers. Yes, sir! Wait! Master! Idea, are you ready to face the consequences of your dis- If you still insist on defying me the next we meet, I shall slay you where you stand. I disagree Regardless with that. Regardless of how you and I may will it, these are the grave circumstances we find ourselves in. Disciple of the Blade, no more of your insubordination will be tolerated. Understood? Okay, that's that's pretty clear, but um, I'm still not gonna stop. No offense. Is that everyone? Commander, the ship thought to be harboring the Wind Vestal has been sighted in the waters near Grand Ship. The Wind Vestal has already arrived in these lands. I spoke with her myself a while ago. Oh. Please tell me you have not captured her yet. I would hate to miss out on that honor. No, we did not get the chance. Some of our forces were retreating, so we opted to aid our allies as they withdrew. <laughs> did you not think capturing the vessel should take me precedence, sword master? Well, all these guys have something in common. They're all going to be dead soon. <laughs> this will not do. If we lead the Wind Vestal to her devices, we shall only repeat our failures in Caldisla and Ansha. The Wind Vestal is here for the crystal. She is no threat while the way to the temple is closed. Given the state of the war, preventing losses is crucial. The Vestal can win. And how does your task progress, Kada? 
I hear the cleansing of the East City is not yet even half complete. I'm doing all that I can. Things are going as well as can be expected. Very well, then. Moving on. What is the situation at the Eisen Bridge, Prelude? Oh, me? Um, nothing's really changed there, I guess. I'm sure all the soldiers there are doing their best to make me happy, though. Sounds like the same voice actor as Anya's, just saying. Those shield bears just don't know when to quit. They won't let us cross the bridge. I put on a smile and sang my best, but nothing. They're a bunch of sour pusses. Oh well, if they can't appreciate my golden voice, it's their loss. If you can keep the main contingent of the shield bearers pinned down, all shall go as planned. Got it! I won't let you down! Praline a la mode, never disappoint! More importantly, have we found a way into the Temple of Fun? He's talking to you? Speak up for a change, Conaway! Your movement is starting to get me... It is your killing of the fire vessel that blocked off the way to the temple. After all, I cannot fathom how one so imprudent came to lead a covert force. I won't be called imprudent by a floundering fool like you. A report on my findings has already been submitted in writing. The way into... The Temple of Fire, via the southern route by way of the town of Hearthchild, has also been blocked by lava, and it's not possible to get through, via above-ground routes. We are looking into the possibility of the existence of secret passages used by temple worshippers. That is all. Oh, how fashion. Still can't talk unless disguised, hmm? That must keep you busy. <laughs> we should follow up on Konoe's report. Was there any way into the temple by sea? We looked at a number of landed points. But it doesn't look possible. The coastline there is sheer palisade. All the low ground where a landing might have been possible was covered by lava. Not even I could bring a ship in safe. Mm, if we just sit idly by, the wind vessel will get there before us. We must avoid that at all costs. Our objective at this time is to focus on finding a way into... I wish all of you good luck in your endeavors. That will be all. You can return to your duty. Okay, so that marks everybody down there. So, we got another party chat. <sighs> the Swordmaster Sting. That Kazumi, we lost an entire squad to the Swordmaster alone. Probably only said because he let us. All peace and full. Sword is like a hurricane. Rocky like a hurricane, just take me out. Wow. Wow, a DS teacher. I'm sorry, I guess that's another secret I can but yeah, I didn't want to believe the stories. If it is all too painful for you, you are free to walk away, you know. But as far as join us on this journey. What? You don't have to say it like that, Anyes. Well, yeah, obviously she wants to join us, silly. So we're going in this, uh, village right here. Eisen Bridge. I think this is where the diva is, if I'm correct. Welcome, Wind Vestal. I see you have companions, too. Well met. I am Daniel Goodman, commander of the Shield Bear. Zatz has already filled me in. It seems we have you to thank for getting Zatz back to us. Much appreciated. The thanks are mutual. They helped us out as well. You did well to repel the Swordmaster for one of your age. I am suitably impressed with you on our side. We may well turn the tide. It would certainly rally the truth. We did not fight him off. Our opponent withdrew. And we have not come here to join your war. A vessel such as I cannot take part in such conflict. Please, do not misunderstand. Oh, I see. You could have been a bit less born. But I... Well then. To what do we owe the honor of your presence? My task here is to awaken the fire crystal. Once that is done, I intend to leave this realm. Oh, so you have come to quell the seething magma in place of the late fire vessel. Exactly. That is why we need your help. Do you know of a way into the temple? We are doing all we can to find one. But we have not found a way through the lava yet. I... I am sorry we could not be of more help. We will, of course, do all we can to aid you. 
a way in shall be found. You would do that? Even though we cannot fight in your war? Of course. The shield bearers welcome the Vestal and her companions. Feel free to rest your travel weary bones in Taft. That's show the Awesome. Nothing. Not at all. Leave the fighting to us soldiers. It is our job after Don't feel bad on Yes. It's their job. Symbol of the shield bearers. So yeah, we're gonna skip it. Who cares? Uh, friends. There are plenty of track of your friends with no friends. Oh, you can friends with friend bot. Save. Uh, I still want to continue in town, actually. Uh, so what can I use that Abling for, actually? What does the friend bot do? Well, not very much, actually. Yes, we know, they need our aid. So let's get out of here. Okay, so... Looks like this gate is blocking her way. Who goes there? Greetings, brother. Corporal Dax. I'm afraid this area's been... I see. Let's take another route. Great. Uh... That area is shut down. What about this side? Who goes there? Greetings, brother. Corporal Dax. I'm afraid. I see. Well. Another route? Are you serious? Great. Uh. Huh. Well, is there any way I can find a town so I can go rest up? Seriously, this is ridiculous. Is this the town? I hope this is. Alright, so we're finally in town. Heart's Child, Town of the Shield Bearers. Welcome to Heart's Child. Best. I will make myself at home, and I will save and quit, yes. Oh, the heat is incredible. Is this town in danger of being swallowed by the lava, too? If it gets any worse, we may have to think about evacuating. Ever since the fire vestal passed into the light, Mount Karka has been raging without cease. The women of this town must be made of strong stuff. To put up with this, I could see myself falling for a strong woman. You might even say I favor them. This is the place I have been seeking. Here we go again. <laughs> You're a funny fellow, Ringabel. I'll say. I'm going on ahead to the commander's residence. Once you've seen the, it's that building you can get you later. Okay. All right. So honestly, is the you know what? I'm not gonna go to the residence yet. Tragedy. Okay, uh. It's a town of Wash of Sadness, Great Jordan. Yes, so sad. Let's just skip it and go to the inn. 60 peak. Not bad. So I'm gonna save right here, and I think I'm gonna save and quit. So you know the drill. Like this video, leave a comment below, and be sure to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Oh, I really have to go through the cutscene. Okay, well, we're going to have to save it for another episode then. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you later. See you next time.